everybody. I'm doing a Zodiac Energy reading for Pisces for the month of September 2022. So I'm going to be tuning into the September energy, tuning into the Pisces collective. We're going to combine it all together and we'll just see what the most meaningful wisdom and healing is that I can share for you for this month. All right, so here we go. Okay, so Pisces and September, what's it look like? <sighs> hmm. Okay, so there's an uncomfortable smell. I'm smelling something a little stinky, but I'm just ignoring it. <laughs> I'm just ignoring it, but it doesn't go away. And it's just, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. This stinky smell will go away, but it's not going away. Now, if I acknowledge the smell, then I have to follow my nose. And then I'm going to have to identify where it's coming from. Is it coming from a person that stinks? Is it coming from you and you're not admitting it? <laughs> Is it coming from the kitchen? <laughs> I don't know where it's coming from, but we're going to have to follow our nose, okay? We need to first acknowledge there's something uncomfortable here, and I am picking up on it, and I'm not going to just ignore it. I'm actually going to follow my nose, and I'm going to identify where it's coming from, and I'm going to face this thing, okay? So, it's horrible. And the more that it stinks, like the more I acknowledge it, the more it stinks and the more intolerable it becomes for me. Almost like I can't follow my nose because now that I'm acknowledging it, this is so horrendously stinky. I, I need to vomit. I need to get away from it. So I'm going to stay with you here because we're going to have to go through this. I see a house on fire. I see firemen wear their outfits. It protects them from the fire, but there's nothing that you have to protect you from the smell. You're going to have to just endure it, even if it makes you want to puke, okay? The smell could be something in your life that you really need to take a look at, and you've been avoiding it, and it's something that stinks, okay? Okay. Yeah, you're throwing up right now, but I, I have to hold your energy in place because if you run away from this, that, that's not what you want to do. Don't run away from it. You, you need to stay with it. You need to work through it, okay? Yeah, you're puking. I mean, I, don't, I see some Pisces won't be able to stomach it because some have no choice but to get out of it or they're they'll lose their mind. It's like they'll lose a part of themselves and they won't be able to get it back. And the, but even still, like you got to stay grounded and you got to get stubborn and you need to follow this all the way through. Something that stinks. Okay, I see this Pisces I'm working with here is hanging in there. And they're crying now. And the meaning of this stench is like so many meanings. <laughs> there are so many meanings. <sighs> There's an emotion for every single meaning of this. And, and sometimes if we... Okay, how do I how do I define the the many meanings? Because I, I feel like I want to find solutions. But I feel like part of the solution is first to acknowledge and then to stay with it. Don't run away from it. Even if it makes you so sick to your stomach you can't even stand it. Stay with it. And then I just see like a I, I can't s explain other than like there's an Excel spreadsheet with all these grids everywhere and it's like and it's like emotions of like all different sounds of emotion <laughs> like oh my god like Pah! that's what it's like okay and so I'm trying to find what is the language to explain to you what how this branches out 
And I'm just like here, here for you. This is overwhelming. I mean, this is a heart level thing as well. It seems like it's a mirror that whatever this stinks out there is going to be a reflection of yourself, okay? And it's going to be intolerable when you see something in yourself and it's a good thing. I'll tell you what, it is a very good thing. Now I got to explain this one. How would I, how will I explain this? I keep seeing a mirror before me. I see the vomiting, the crying, all this noise, this explosion, this Excel spreadsheet with all these, um, I don't know, grid works everywhere and pocketing of all the feelings and the meanings of all these feelings and all the sounds associated with all these feelings. And blah, 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 blah. It's like exponentially growing, pff, happening, okay? And then I see this mirror and it's like, oh, me, 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 me. And it, you see how it's getting like da, 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 out of control here? I'm just like, Shh, let's just breathe here. It's, it's you, you notice the smell. It was then overwhelming, made you vomit, made you want to run away. You're still staying with it. You're working through all these trajectories of feelings. You're working through, you're doing such a good job. <sighs> But it's you, 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 and it is it really all about you? Is this this terrible stench coming from you not working on something of yourself? Because there's so much noise and emotion involved, it's very hard to to really translate it. Okay, quite mysterious. Because it's just like standing in a bunch of exploding emotions and they're they're wailing okay <sighs> you 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 I still looking you're looking at your reflection now in the mirror and I keep hearing we're on repeat you 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 Holy smokes. Just breathe. Just literally just goose fraba, breathe, slow down. Let's just collect ourselves here. Like, like controlled breathing. <sighs> like do this. Really pay attention. Use your conscious mind. Pay attention to actually breathing. Something we never have to think about. We just do it but then we pay attention to it. We are in control. We are in control of something in our life. We're in control of just something in our life. And it's just breathing. It has nothing to do with an attack on you. This is just breathing right now. Okay. You, you're the reason why everything in your life. Yes, that's true. But my God, don't beat yourself up to death about this. You, you would choose uh, your friends. Uh, you would choose your relationships. You would choose your work environment. You would choose uh, the car you drive and the, and the stupid decisions that you, you, you are making and the stupid way you deal with it and the stupid reason everything in your life is all your fault. Like, it's starting to kind of bleed out of the seams of your pores. Like, whoa, this is really a lot. It's like, man, that's pretty, pretty loud. I'm asking my guys, is that... I mean, really, is that the only direction we should be processing this in is really Pisces is working through a Pisces thing, like an internal thing. This is a external, something we're picking up on out there is helping us to see something in here. And we're going through this like catastrophic emotional process. And I, I feel that I... It's really harsh when you put the blame on yourself to, to such a defeating level, to such a like a crushing level, okay? But it almost um, appears as though it needs to be so ridiculously loud for you to have some kind of awakening. And it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a very good awakening. Because once all this sound subsides, my gosh, what remains... 
will be really the core of who you are, accessible to you, the gift then of you, without all this there. It's almost like you're burning away the old, you're just burning it all away. It could be a, an identity you didn't know that you're wearing some sort of facade or um, maybe, I don't know, maybe you're behaving in a way that you think is going to help somebody. It only ends up to bite you in the butt in the end. It's, I don't know to what depths this, this could go, but it's, it's an awakening to your self event, okay? It took a lot to get to this single message. An awakening to your self event it is, in a nutshell, September and Pisces. When I take September energy and I take Pisces collective and then I mix them together into an interesting concoction, this is what I experience, okay? And it's... <laughs> as it calms down, as we collect ourselves and have this awakening to our self event, it's like, oh my God, life is good. <laughs> life is good. And that's the experience that I'm having. Don't let this make you nervous. Let this empower you, okay? <laughs> like embrace this and roll with it. And anything that might feel derailing or might be introducing you to a discomfort or something you finally are going to acknowledge you need to look at this. Um, if it starts to feel like it's ripping you apart, no, because you, you're smart and you're aware that you're having an awakening to your self event and that you're going to stay with it no matter how gross it might feel. It might make you want to run away and just never face that. But it's actually an awakening to your self event. So you definitely want to face this. This is good. This is really good. This is all about you. This is like all about you. This is really good. Hmm. Okay. So there you have it. You just never know what you're going to get. Wow. Okay. Well, if any of you are interested in exploring a session with me, you can do so by visiting my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. Okay. Have a wonderful month of September.